In this section, you're going to learn how to display information about the groups a user is involved with as a member or as an owner. In the previous section in this module, we demonstrated how to get a list of all the groups or using a specific group with Microsoft Graph. And you also learn how you can obtain information about the users involved in the group, both as owners and in members. And this operation is done from the group's point of view. So now we're going to look at it from the user's point of view. We're going to cover things like working with users in the organization, getting all the groups a user is an owner or a member of, and then also the concept of direct versus transitive membership. Microsoft Graph can be used to obtain a list of all groups that a user is an owner of, and this is done by requesting all directory objects the user owns. A directory object is the base type for many other entity types, including Office 365 groups and security groups. You're going to use the owned objects property of a user resource to get a list of all the directory objects that the user is an owner of. You can do that by going to the slash me slash owned objects or going to a specific user as you see there um, on the slide. You can examine the properties of a directory object to determine what type of a group it is. For example, an Office 365 group is indicated by the property group types unified that you see there on the slide. That's on the directory object and a security group is indicated by security enabled is true. The same request can be done using the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK by using the owned objects uh, property on the me endpoint. By attempting to cast the directory object as a specific type in the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK, you can determine what kind of an object it is. For example, in this code that you see here on the slide, I'm first trying to cast the object to a Microsoft Graph.Group object. That's an Office 365 group. And I'm also trying to cast it as a directory role object. That's a security group. Depending on which one comes back that's not null, I'll know what it is. Microsoft Graph can be used to obtain a list of all groups a user is a member of. And this is done by requesting all groups a user is a member of by using the member of property on the user itself. I can do that either by going to the me slash member of endpoint or to the users slash whatever the name of the ID of the user is, slash member of property. And like the previous example, this list returns a list of directory objects, and you can examine the properties of each object returned to determine what kind of an object it is. Now, the same request can be done using the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK. And you can see that on the code on the bottom of the slide where I'm using the member of property. Now, unlike the previous example, the member of property returns a collection of directory objects that the user is a direct member of. These are groups that the user has been explicitly added to. Microsoft Graph can also return a list of all the directory objects that a user is a transitive member of. These are groups that the user hasn't been directly added to, but is a member through a nested security group. For example, this can happen if the user is in a security group that's been added to another group or the member uh, or is the member of a group through a dynamic membership, as I covered in the previous section. To perform a transitive membership check, I'm going to use the get member groups method on the Microsoft Graph API or the get member groups property on the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK. Just one thing to note with this is that Office 365 groups cannot contain groups. So membership in an Office 365 group is always direct. 